walk in with you. You grab some hay. See when you get off the back one, buddy. Love you. Here she goes. Stomp her. Stomp her. I used to be so proud whenever somebody would say, what's your husband do for a living? Or what's your dad do for a living? And they're coal miners. They're coal miners. You know, it's just like my heart would swell up three times bigger than what it is. This came from my dad's well right directly out of the well. They don't test for heavy metals. They don't test for these chemicals right here that they're pumping in a gram, that they're putting in pools bigger than Olympics, Olympic swimming pools. They don't test for it. The main road down through here will actually end up being the creek. And uh, so what we're doing is we're actually gonna be building slopes in to form the hillsides leading into the creek. What they're doing, they're treating it up in here somewhere. They, I bet you they are, Ted. They probably got some magnetite up there and they're dripping in there. Pool River Valley residents say dust and chemicals from a Massey owned cool operation is poisoning students. Me, her, and her husband. And my husband. And our dog. I had, all, all of us had cancer. I had breast Different. cancer, he had gastrointestinal cancer, and what, cervical cancer? At this school, uh, for this side, I'm going to defer to the experts. <laughs> You know, the folks from our Department of Environmental Protection, I'm sure the residents that it's safe. They've got 4,000 violations, and you guys didn't even prosecute them. The EPA had to step in and prosecute them. So what's that tell you? If Massey wasn't here, there would be no jobs. There would be no economy. There would be no productivity in this area. This is to raise awareness and raise money for a new school. Carla, we are bringing you water, honey. Thank you, too. I never thought of it this fast ago. We're on a mission to save the planet. And in a way, it is. We are. 